There are thousands of options available to the customers as soon as they land on your online store. Product filters greatly helps customer to find products of their interest very easily. It enhances user experience, boosts products views and ultimately increase conversions on your online store. So if you are looking to implement product filters on your WooCommerce shop, so stay tuned with this video. Hello everyone, so we are back with another exclusive demo video on MWB product filter for WooCommerce plugin. So this is Munam from Make Web Better and in today's demo video I will explain you about the front end and the back end settings of the plugin but before proceeding towards the working of the plugin let's understand the basic concept of MWB product filter for WooCommerce plugin and at last I will also explain you about the advantages of the product filter for WooCommerce plugin. So keep watching the video till the end so, do, so you don't miss any update regarding the plugin functionality. So if you are new to our channel make sure to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to get regular updates from our channel. So what is MWB product filter for WooCommerce? So MWB product filter for WooCommerce is a plugin which will allow the shop owner or the WooCommerce merchant to create filter based on product attribute to help the customer to sort the product easily according to their choice. So before you move to your WordPress dashboard, if you haven't downloaded the plugin, we have mentioned the link in the description content and from there you can download the plugin. So after installing the plugin, you have to move to your WordPress dashboard and click on make a better product filter for WooCommerce. So as soon as you click on this, you will be redirected to the backend settings of product filter for WooCommerce plugin. So as you can see, these are the four tabs that are general settings filter settings, filter classes, overview section. So firstly, I'm going to explain you about overview section. So in this overview section, you will get to know what is product filter for WooCommerce, what you can do with product filter for WooCommerce and what are the features that are included in this plugin. So this was all about the overview section. Now let's move to next setting that is general settings. So we are on the general settings and from the general settings you will get the functionality related to enabling the plugin and you will also get the short code which you can copy and paste the short code for the placement of product filters from the widget menu. So first functionality is enable product filter. So as soon as you click on this the product filter functionality will come into action. Next is short code. So this with this short code simply you can copy this short code and then you have to move to your widget section. So we are on the uh, widget menu. Next you have to select on the sidebar uh, to select the position of the product filter. So simply you have to click on text and in the description menu simply you have to paste this short code and you have to click on done. So uh, the placement of this uh, product filter will be on the sidebar. So we have done this setting. Now again we have to move to the backend settings of product filter for WooCommerce. So now we have paste the short code and we have uh, decided the placement of the product filter on the sidebar. So the product filter will be coming on the sidebar. So all the settings have been done for the general settings. Now let's click on save settings. So all the settings have been saved. Now let's move to next setting that is filter settings. So we are on the filter settings. So from this setting you can create the filters for the customer. But before adding a new filter first we need to set a global attribute. So for this let's move to products and attributes. So we are on the attributes menu. So why there is a need to create an attribute. So by adding attributes it will let the customer to define the extra product data for the filter such as size, color or what is the uh, fabric of that cloth, what is the size of that particular cloth. So by creating attributes you give the extra options for the customer to uh, provide a filter to their uh, choice. Like uh, these are the uh, already created attributes like color, price, size and now we are going to create an extra attribute like on the basis of cloth fabric. So I have given the name as cloth fabric and the slug is also the cloth fabric and if you want to enable uh, the product archives you can enable, enable it from here and simply you have to click on add attribute. So a uh, new attribute has been added now we need to configure the terms for that particular attribute. So firstly I am going to give the name as woolen and simply add a new cloth fabric. Next. So as you can see all the terms have been done and now you have to click on apply. 
and now you have to move to attributes so as you can see the attribute has been created along with the terms that have been configured as cotton silk and woolen now let's uh, now let's move to the product to apply this attribute on the products we want so for this we have to go to all products so we are on the all products page so now let's select any of the product to add this attribute like uh, let's select this product now we have to go to uh, this attribute section so we are on the attribute section now we have to select that attribute so we have selected this attribute now we have to click on add now we have to put up the values like uh, what values that uh, we have configured that three terms cotton silk or woolen so from these three we have to select it one so we have selected this now we have to click uh, or if you want to select all of them you can select or simply select all and likewise you can select this so i have selected as cotton and uh, now click on save attributes so now let's click on update so as soon as we add an attribute to the particular product and then we add a new filter from the backend settings then when the customer filters according to the provided attributes then that particular product in which attribute is added will be shown on the results to the customer so now let's move to again to the backend settings of filter settings so we are on the filter settings now let's add a new filter after creating the attributes and adding the attributes to the products now cl just click on this so as you can see the first option the first functionality is title so from here the shop owner can decide the filter name like uh, i have uh, let's add a new filter like cloth fabric now let's attribute select this cloth fabric and the type of filter so with this uh, mwb product filter for woocommerce plugin we have provided various layouts for your filters like list label checkbox drop down color in circle shape color in rectangle shape so in between these options you can select any of them like uh, if i have selected this uh, list and uh, this query type next functionality is query type so uh, the query type is you can select is and or or so if you select and so with this functionality the shop owner can give the customer to opt for more than one attribute value for a particular filter like uh, if i have uh, if the customer has selected the attribute as size so he 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 will also get the option to select more than one attribute like color or size whatever option or if he has selected or so using this option the customer can opt for one attribute like if i have selected color so he can choose only for that particular attribute so let's click on or and let's save this filter so as you can see this notification has come new filter has been added so as you can see the new filter as cloth fabric the filter type is as list query type has been or the attribute has cloth fabric and this operation from this operation you can simply delete that particular filter that you have created you can click on simply delete and that particular filter will be deleted so so as you can see we have created all these filters so in the next update we are adding a new functionality in which once you have created the filters then filter type and query type can be changed at instant by just simply clicking on filter type or query type and changing it so all the settings have been done for this filter settings now let's move to next setting that is filter classes so with this filter classes setting the shop owner can add different design features such as padding alignment fonts color so the first functionality is product container so the shop owner can enter the css class here for getting a suitable design shop pagination container so for adjusting the number of products in a page the shop owner can fill the css class to do this action result count container so to display the count uh, to display the result count in woocommerce shop the woocommerce merchant can enter the css class here scroll up to top anchor so the shop owner can enter the html tag to apply a scroll up anchor button so all the settings have been done for this filter classes now let's click on save settings so the settings have been saved so all the settings have been done for the back end so now let's move to shop page and see how these settings will reflect on the front end so we are on the shop page and as you can see 
the placement of the filter is on the sidebar as we have uh, done the settings in the back end and the filters that we have created is also coming like cloth fabric we have created and the already created filters for price size and color and there is also the option of resetting the filter uh, if the customer wants to reset the filter so let's uh, apply any filter for cloth fabric like let's select cotton so as you can see is the filter we have uh, filtered the product on the basis of the cloth fabric and the, this product is coming because on the product attribute section in the back end we have uh, selected the values as cotton in this product so because of this uh, selecting the cotton as a product filter this this hoodie is coming so as you can see we can apply one filter at a time because we have selected the query type as or in the back end which restricts the customer to apply one filter at a time so if the customer wants to reset the filter he can simply click on this and all the filters will be reset so this was all about mwb product filter for woocommerce plugin Let's see what are the advantages of mwb product filter for woocommerce plugin the shop owner or WooCommerce merchant can create or add custom filters according to the industry type so as to provide custom based filters to facilitate the customers. WooCommerce merchants will get the short code which will assist you to place filter properly on your product page. The shop owner with the help of filter settings can set different layouts of filters. The customers will get the reset filter widget in order to reset the applied filters. The shop owner can also apply an icon of their choice for the custom loader so the same icon will be loading in the store after filter is applied by the customer. So this was all about the demo video of product filter for WooCommerce plugin. So if you liked watching our video make sure to like and share the video and if you have any queries regarding the plugin functionality you can mention your doubts and queries in the comment section and we will be glad to help you. So till the next video stay connected with us. Thank you.